Well, this is uh, City Skylines first version, and uh, I can't believe that I've actually gotten it this far along. If you look at my city here, I've got nine uh, segments, whatever they call them, and we are uh, at nine million dollars in the bank, nine million six hundred right now. That goes up and down a bit. It's been over ten, and, and right now it's a nine and a half. And 249,000 population, that's also gone up and down a bit. I still have a little bit of space left to build up, so we'll take a look at that. It's over in this corner. So first thing I wanted to show here was the amount of um, transit I've got going. It's uh, pretty amazing to me. But uh, these are all the... Um, public transit. Most of this is metro, underground metro lines. Some of it's a little bit above ground and there's a few train lines. But uh, especially the underground metro, there are, let's see, 50 metro lines. And uh, all of them, not all of them busy, but most of them are pretty busy. 200 passengers last week, 395. Let's see the most here. 713 passengers on this orange line all the way down to I saw a zero down here, so I'm going to have to see what's going on with that one. Uh, it's got only two stops, and it's line 38. Let's see if I can find that line. Okay, I forgot for a second how to find a line, but it's pretty simple. Really, you just select it here and then click on the magnifying glass, and it goes over to the line. And so here it is, that yellow line with only two stops. Um, had zero passengers last week. I can kind of see why. It's not a very busy area. Let's see if we've got any passengers in there right now. I'll go ahead and uh, board. And they're walking by it, but they're not going... Oh, there went one down into it. So let's take a look down inside there. Not just one passenger waiting. <laughs> it's interesting. Let's see if a train comes along. So he's down there lined up. You can see him walking back and forth there. Oops. You can see him walking around. It looks like he came back out, actually. <laughs> Interesting. Maybe no trains? I think I've got some problem with the route here, and I'll fix that later. Anyway, it's a big city, and uh, sometimes I get a lot of traffic, like here. Let's take a look at the traffic in general. Yeah, that's a busy spot right there. I'll have to work on that. But pretty much, I don't have too many uh, bottlenecks on the traffic. I think a lot of it has to do with uh, having the metro lines, but also probably uh, I've made tried to make some extra routing where it gets really busy. Like I uh, have an earlier turnoff here and maybe go underground for a while. Or something to alleviate maybe... Instead of a four-lane road here, maybe this should be a six-lane. I wanted to mention this mod that I found that is called First Person Camera. It's a, um, you know, not an official mod. It's one of the users created it. The purpose of it is to allow you to ride along from the point of view of whatever you click on, a person or a car or train, etc. And apparently... The um, console versions of this game allow you to do that without uh, any modifications, but the PC version, which I'm using, uh, requires a mod. It, they don't do it in the in the factory default, the factory game. So it's a cool mod, and I wanted to show you what it looks like. So once the mod is installed, and you want to uh, see the perspective of riding along with a car or walking along with a pedestrian, what they're seeing, it will have this little camera icon. So I'm clicking on this car, which I think is about to get on the uh, freeway here, and it immediately goes to their view. And then when I go ahead and hit play here, here it goes, getting on the uh, highway. Exiting, 
getting on a different highway, exiting, and going into town. And right into the back of that car. <laughs> Okay, here's a metro line that's above ground and it's going to go back below ground because most of my metro is underground. So let's see what that looks like. First it'll stop at this next station. There were passengers waiting there so it's picking up some passengers. Now it's going to head down here and then go underground. Oh, after the next station. Waiting for more passengers. Pick up offload passengers. Across the river. Here we go underground. So you can see what I mean. The uh, city is up above you. If I pause for a second, you can see all the buildings and everything were, were underneath. And it's, what's really cool is it looks like cars are flying here. Reminds me of Back to the Future. Going on to the next station. Picking up more passengers. And you can see what's happening in the city up above. That's not intentional, I'm sure, by the developer, but it's kind of interesting. So it's also pretty cool to follow along a, a pedestrian as they're walking along. We'll take a look at this guy here, or woman, Anna Smith. And let's watch her walk down here and then along this quay that I put along the lake shore. And we can watch her take a walk. She's fast. And into the city. Ooh, makes you a little bit dizzy. <laughs> Another thing that's kind of fun to do with this first person camera mod is to ride in the space launch or the uh, rocket launch at the Chirpex uh, launch site. So here goes. And here's a view from up above. I wanted to show a little bit of a busy area with pedestrians. I put in this, um, what do they call it, special building, unique building or monument. Anyway, it's a space elevator, and it tracks hundreds of tourists, so you can see how many people are walking around down here. So we'll just take a look at one of them coming out. This person is coming out. Uh, he's a child. Let's try an adult. Highly educated adult. He's unemployed, going home. So we'll watch him walk. By the way, you may have noticed there's a crosswalk right there, and I'll show you how to put those in. That also was a mod. Anyway, he's walking along. Interesting. So the crosswalks, the way you, the way I found was a mod called, um, I'll have to look up what it's called, but I use it a lot because I put in these uh, walking paths. So like right here, I added this crosswalk. This was here because of the corner. 
that there was no crosswalk here, but I had this walking path and I wanted them to be able to cross the street easily. So it looks like this, build crossing. You just click on it and you can build a crossing and you can delete it with a right click. So uh, it's been really nice for using along these walking paths that are usually put near the uh, metro stations. The last thing I wanted to mention was all the um, districts that I've used. And um, they're, they're pretty handy for doing things. Like I like to use them for, I see I need to clean up some uh, abandoned buildings. But if you look at the district tool, um, you can see all the districts. And let's see, this one is uh, probably, yeah, it's probably IT specialization. So, let's look and see right here. Yeah, this little icon here is for IT specialization. If you look at the tool here, IT cluster. So, everything in this district that I painted is a high-tech employment area and requires a uh, you know, higher level of education. So, the more of these you uh, populate carefully, you don't overdo it, but the more that you put in, the less industrial zones that you need. So not a whole lot of pollution remaining in my, on my uh, city. See a few areas of pollution, but not much. And of course, uh, with the Echo uh, mod that I installed, that's an official mod or DLC, these are um, Echo water treatment plants. So if we look close up, it's pretty cool. The water comes out clean. Looks a little strange close up, <laughs> but it doesn't pollute the river or very little. You can see just a slight tinge of brown there, but very, very little. Okay, last thing I just want to show you is the little, the pretty pathways I make between buildings and allows people to uh, walk to different places rather than walk along the streets. It's a, a lot peaceful walk and I found these jacarundi trees, they call them, as somebody made. And uh, let's watch them walk along the path here.